Welcome back students. Myself, Felina Gonsalves, teacher of Shape Vidya Mandir, English High School, Maharashtra Board, Vasai. Today we are going to learn chapter 6 for standard 7th. The topic is measurement of physical quantities. Observe the following picture. How are the various articles and material measured? In day to day life, we measure many things such as the weight of fruits, vegetables, food grains, temperature of the body or some liquid, volume of liquid, density of various substance, the speed of vehicle etc. So what is physical quantities? A physical quantity of a material or system that can be quantified by measurement. A physical quantity can be expressed as a combination of a numeral value and unit. Thus, we can say that quantities such as mass, weight, distance, speed, temperature, volume are called physical quantities. What is magnitude of a physical quantity? The magnitude of a physical quantity represents the amount contained in the quantity. A value and a unit are used to express the magnitude of physical quantity. For example, Sorali walks 2 km every day. In this example, 2 is the value and km is the unit. Now what is scalar quantity and vector quantity? A scalar quantity is a physical quantity that can be described by a single element of a number field. A quantity that can be completely expressed by magnitude alone is called a scalar quantity. For example, only magnitude that is a value with a unit is used to express quantities such as length, breadth, area, mass, temperature, density, time, work, etc. Thus we can say that the length of a turnip is 2 km. The fever that the temperature is 101. What is vector quantity? Vector quantity are important in study of motion. The quantity that is expressed completely only when magnitude and direction are both given is called a vector quantity. Displacement, velocity are vector quantity. For example, a displacement of 20 km towards the north, the aeroplane flying at a velocity of 500 km per hour towards Mumbai are vector quantity. Let us know about mass and weight. Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. Mass is usually measured in gram or kilogram. The amount of matter present in a substance is called mass. Matter has a natural tendency to resist a change in a state which is called inertia of an object. The larger the mass, the greater is the inertia. Mass is a scalar quantity. It does not change from place to place anywhere in the world. The quantities mass and weight are however different. Gram and kilogram are the unit of mass. Weight. Weight is the force exerted on a body by gravity. What we measure in gram, kilogram is mass and not weight. The gravitational force that acts on this mass is called as weight. The gravitational force by which the earth attracts an object towards its end is called the weight of the object. Therefore, weight is a vector quantity. It is different at different places on the earth. In everyday affairs, we measure many different physical quantities. As these physical quantities are different from each other, a specific unit is used to measure each quantity. Therefore, different units are used while measuring different quantity. So let's know about standard measurement. For example, measure the length of a bench by means of the span of your hand. And ask your family member to do the same. Did each of you obtain the same measure for that bench? Standardized means 
measurement acquired for measuring things such measure are called standard unit we have to measure many physical quantities accurately to measure any quantity we use the unit specified for it for example meter is a specified unit for measuring length a certain distance has been accepted as the standard for 1 meter why is there a need for such standard unit suppose the span of a hand is accepted as a unit for measuring length with this unit we can measure length of cloth as two span hand or three span hand and so on however the length of the cloth measured by each one of us will come out to be different that is why a hand span cannot be a standard unit for measuring length prevailing system of measurement in this system distance is measured in meter mass in kilogram and time in second whereas in cgs system distance is measured in centimeter mass in gram and time in second in the mks system of measurement distance mass and time are accepted as the fundamental quantities these three quantities are used to measure all other quantities now let's know about fundamental quantities fundamental quantities are those physical quantities that cannot be expressed in terms of other quantities it is independent on its own it is enough to select a few out of the many quantities and standardize the unit you can see from the above example that the unit of the quantities length and time need to be standardized such quantities are called fundamental quantities and the unit are called standard unit of course a standard fundamental unit must be available to all and it must not be variable now let's learn about international system of unit international system of unit is the model form of the metric system it is the only system of measurement with an official status in nearly every country in the world an international system of unit based on seven fundamental units called the system international is currently used all over the world it is also called the metric system the names and symbol of the unit of fundamental quantities length time mass in the system are given in the following table now let's know about standards of the fundamental quantities as the standard of mass a solid cylinder made of a platinum iridium alloy is kept in the international bureau of weight and measures at paris as per the international agreement this mass is called 1 kg official accurate copy of this prototype are kept in the centralizing laboratories all over the world two fine line are engraved on a platinum iridium bar kept in the national bureau of weights and measure at paris the distance between these two line is accepted as the standard meter a current copy of this prototype are made and distributed to centralizing laboratories all over the world the time required for one revolution of the earth is measured by means of an accurate device this time is taken as 24 hours to standardize one second one hour is considered to have 60 minute and one minute 60 seconds let's know the history of measurement when man felt the need to measure things he started by using the parts of his own body for the purpose in egypt in ancient time the distance from a man elbow to the tip of his middle finger was called as cubit this measure would differ from person to person therefore the cubit of the king was considered as a standard in olden time we weighed gold in unit called gung 
and a glass was used for measuring time. Now let's know the importance of accurate measurement. Accurate measurement represent how close a measurement comes to its true value. This is important because bad equipment, poor data processing or human error can lead to inaccurate result. How accurate the measurement must be depends upon its purpose. Accordingly, an appropriate device has to be used for the measurement. A measurement of substance that are precious of great importance and used in very small quantities is done accurately. Due to advancement in technology, devices that measure very small magnitude of quantities like distance, mass, time and temperature are available now. For example, distance and time is the connection with very important sports competition mass of gold, body temperature, etc. So let's know about major causes of errors in measurement. There are two causes. The first one is not using the appropriate device. Second one, not using the device properly. Now, do you really think we get many liters of petrol as the petrol pump indicate. To assure this, it is very important to check it against a standard measure from time to time. This is called standardization. Similarly, it is important to standardize the weight and measure used in the market. Now let's know the responsibility of government. To prevent consumer from being cheated, a weight and measure subdivision function as part of the food urban supply and consumer protection division of the government officer of the subdivision. Visit different places from time to time and assert whether the weight and balance being used are proper or not. It is a binding by law to use standard weight and measure. It is also a function of the weight and measure subdivision to grant license for the production, sale and repairs of the weights and measure. The standard of the six fundamental unit are meter, kilogram, second, kelvin, ampere and candela are kept in the National Physical Laboratory at New Delhi. Copy the following assignment. Thank you for watching the video.